Well, here we have a later model deck. Now I post up on a uh, deck on a belt. They go on exactly like this here. Give you a good look so that you can remember where your belt goes in case you forgot. Alright, now this one has a rod that runs from here to here. And that's your tensioner to tighten up your belt so that it will cut. Alright, now on this one, this rod right here has got to be disconnected here on the back of the mower. Now if you're looking from the side, you're going to see it that way. And you're going to pull that collar key out push that out and then you'll be able to get your belt up and out and over and that's an easy replacement we have this apart both of these are locked up this one's locked up this one's locked up and I'm going to show you how to take them apart and do them properly do not force them to turn you will tear up the bearings well you're going to have to use a torque on this one to remove these three bolts up out of your way in order to get to this bolt here because we're going to take that bolt loose in order to do that I got me half inch breaker bar but you're going to have to make sure that that don't turn however you do that I usually stick a pry bar down under here hold the blade from moving these ain't real real tight usually but you got to get them loose so go ahead and do that. All right, I've got this bolt loose. Big bolt. Take the pulley off, set it aside. Put the bolt back on by hand, okay, till it's way down on there. Take a hammer. Just lightly tap it. Until it comes loose. This might take some time. But don't beat on it. You'll tear the threads up. And make sure this is up off the threads. Now we got her loose. Let's move on. Now we lifted the deck up and we pulled this out. This is the part that's attached to your blade. It's a little rusty. We'll clean that up. We're going to put new grease all up and down the shaft before we stick it back in. But number one, just, just clean that up as best you can and do it that way. Now I'm going to show you something. Here's the bearing on this side, and as you can see, this side turns real well. That's a good side right there. We like that. Don't we wish the other side's going to, what are we going to bet? The other side won't turn like that? Well, let's just lift that deck up. Get up under there. All right? And take a look. That sucker is a mess. That's a bearing right there. Alright, and it's full of dirt, rust, and we gotta loosen that up. In order to do that, we're gonna have to spray it down and move it out. We can take the bearing out, but before I do that, I'm gonna turn this deck over. work on it that way now I'm going to clean this out without tearing it up you got to be gentle with them and then we're going to grease her down see if we can't get that center piece that metal piece right there is supposed to move but the bearings are not in the housing see that this was down in there and I know 
know how bad this is, but I'm going to spray this out down here and hope that I can recover this. It's been sitting a long time. Well, we've sprayed that bearing down with that rust buster, and we're working this thing around and around. We ain't got it bolted in there. It'll come back up. But we we got that just totally full of rust buster. All right. It's like a rust inhibitor. And plus, this is cleaning up a little bit. Because we're still going to sand this down and pack it full of grease. And I mean bearing grease. Wheel bearing grease. All right. But right now I'm just trying to get that to make sure it's working real good. As you can see, it's turning all by itself right there. Whoa. Now I'm going to keep doing that because I want to make sure them bearings ain't locked up. Because if they are, this will burn up when you're cutting grass. So I'm going to go over it really, really well. And then I'm going to pack it full of grease. And that grease will work its way inside the bearings and saving the bearings, hopefully. Because we don't want to have to pull this housing because most of them the bolts break off in there and you just got more and more problems you might as well just go ahead and buy, buy two of them and this one over here as you can see is still locked up we haven't took it apart yet but we are going to do the same thing to that one as we're doing to this one and we're going to have a good deck and hopefully so will you this is Dan and I hope I helped you well we got the deck done Turned out real good. I've cut some grass with it and just got to finish up this mower and clean her up and she'll be ready. So I hope it works out as good for you as it worked for me.